Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can design a modular design in KiCad. And for this example I'm going to show you a DC DC bug converter and also I will show you a different modules that I designed and uploaded in the website so you can also use these modules if you want. So let's first see what are requirements. So first of all, it needs to be a modular schematic design that I can use it in a different projects, just copy and pasting this module. So the operating input voltage range should be between 5 volts to 15 volts. Output voltage should be 3.3 volts, but I al I'm also need to able to change it easily with just changing the resistor values. And finally, it should be 1 amperes of continuous output current. And selected bug regulated is this one from the alpha and omega semiconductor which name is AOZ1280 and it has a large of amount of stock so I will don't mind the out of stock issues. So this is the data sheet for this bug regulator and it says that it's a 1.2 amperes of simple bug regulator and it has the features that match our requirements. It also has a short circuit and thermal protections. So here is a pin configuration of the back regulator and here is a typical application for this back regulator. But here is they are missing the namings of bootstrap pin label. So I will connect C3 to a bootstrap pin which should be connected with a 10 nanofarad capacitor. So the C3 one is a 10 nanofarad capacitor and it should be connected to bootstrap pin, the first pin. And I also need to make sure that the Schottky diodes and inductors current ratings are selected correctly to make sure that it will work with a 1 amperes of output current, continuous output current. And also I need to make sure that the input and output capacitor working voltage values are higher than the, these output and input voltages. And here is a feedback resistors calculations for the output voltage formula and they are also recommended some resistor values for the common output voltages. And they are recommended these values for the 3.3 volt output but they are not easy to find values so what I made I select a different resistor values to make sure that we can find it them easily. So I selected the 48k and 15k resistor values which makes us a 3.31 volts of the output voltage. And here is a KiCad design that is copied from the typical applications in from the data sheet. And this is a, not a modular design because when we copy this design and paste to other place and for example if we need to change the R1, we need to change both of them. But I don't need it. I need to make sure that when I copy the block of the circuit paste to other place, I need to make sure that the base components will be same. And I just want to change one value to make sure that it's changed in everywhere. And for this reason, we need to make it with a hierarchical sheet. So here is an, an example of the bug converter module that I'm going to show you. So here, as you can see that we have a hierarchical sheet and the hierarchical labels to connect the internal of the circuit to the outside. And also I moved the internal feedback resistors here so we can easily change it from the outside of the module. So with this module we can make different input, different outputs with a different resistor values. And here is also a formula for the calculating the output voltage. And in the here is the internal circuit of this hierarchical module module. So as you can see that I used a hierarchical labels to connect with the outside of the hierarchical sheet. So with this approach we can connect different grounds, different input and different output voltages in this module. And let's see it in an action. And here you can see the our module and its internal circuit. So let's say that I want to duplicate it. So I just need to press Ctrl G on my keyboard and it will give me the new version of this module. But the internal circuit will be the same. In the file directory we can see that there is just one uh, schematic of the hierarchical sheet. So we know that these two hierarchical sheets uses the same schematic file. So when we change something on this, let's say that I, I will make it 22k resistor. 
so then go back and go to this and as you can see it's changed also here so with this we can just use single module to make sure that we can use in a different uh, operations so let's say that we want to isolate the grounds of this module for this i will add a different ground label here and just i need to paste it here so with with just changing this we isolated uh, this with this and also sorry i just i also need to change the output voltage so here we isolated these two buck regulators to use this one for the digital side of our circuit and this one for the analog side here you can see different power modules with a different input and output voltages there is linear regulators and buck converters so you can copy and use this one in a different projects so let's show you an example of the project that we can use our modules here i have a template of stm32 f0 mcu so here this template made with the modules here you see the linear regulator module here usb c module usb to oart module and mcu module so let's say that you want to add one more usb to oart converter with a with an extra connector so you just need to copy and duplicate it here and connect this to the required inputs of the mcu module with this you can easily duplicate your modules and make new modules but they are all will use same schematic if you change the crystal here it will be updated on all of them and here i also want to show you the proto circuit lab with this website i'm going to share more modules and you can access them here i will also add a coupon code that you can use to make discount for these modules so if you want you can visit this website and you can buy these modules and use it in your projects if you have questions you can contact here with us and we will reach out to solve your problem and this is end of this video so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to don't miss future videos and if you like this video you can press the like button thank you for watching